Are you considering any of Apple's high-end ultra-portable laptops? Need help deciding? Join me in this video as I give you all you need to know about the iPad Pro or MacBook Air M2 to help you make the best choice. Without further ado, let's begin. We are here. iPad Pro M2 Review iPad Pro M2 looks identical to the iPad Pro M1 version regarding physical appearance. First, it's a liquid Retina XDR display with IPS technology, which comes in a 12.9-inch mini LED backlit multi-touch display, the 2732x2048 resolution, and the True Tone display, which I will be talking about the relevance and setup very soon in the video, Wide Color and 1 million to 1 contrast ratio give you vivid and crisp pictures because of the deeper darks. It's stunning. There are a lot of ports to serve all your charging and data transfer needs. Thunderbolt slash USB 4 port with support for charging, Thunderbolt 3, USB 3.1 Gen 2, and a nano SIM tray. A magnetic holder for keeping the Apple Pencil is sold separately and serves as a charging port. Although the bezels are thin, there is enough space to hold them to avoid touching the screen more often or mistakenly. The front-facing 12 megapixels ultra-wide camera is to die for. On the iPad, you've also got the best pro cameras on this iPad with a 12 megapixel main and 10 megapixel on the ultra-wide. And having the ultra-wide selfie camera also allows for center stage on an iPad, which is a really immersive way to do video calls. The iPad Pro is also the only iPad that has Face ID, which is the best way to unlock your iPad. With Touch ID, it works great, but you have to put your finger. With Face ID, you simply like swipe up and it unlocks by itself. Other users can see your face's acne and jawlines very clearly and the camera will position you in the correct position no matter your posture. There is no blurriness, and it can record up to 4K. Video calls are fun on the iPad Pro M2. The 5 studio quality mix record clean and noise-free sound, especially for content creators and TikTokers. The 4-speaker audio can blast the apartment down. I know I can exaggerate, but the speakers are good. Apple's M2 chipset for the iPad Pro M2 makes the tablet one of a kind, with an 8-core CPU, 10-core GPU, video, and ProRes encode and decode engines. There is a more significant performance boost than the M1 chip. Video and photo editing is easy, and gaming is an absolute joy. Similarities and differences between the iPad Pro and MacBook Air M2 coming right up, so stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so to gain more insight into the relevance of the True Tone technology in the iPad Pro. You have 128 gigabytes and up to two terabyte storage options to use more space for important documents, as well as eight gigabytes or 16 gigabytes of RAM at your disposal. Nine to 10 hours of battery life should get you through a day's work. Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 wireless connectivity are fast and reliable. Weighing only 1.5 pounds, it can be carried anywhere with ease. It comes in silver and space gray color options. I like to move it. True Tone Technology. The True Tone Technology features sensors that measure ambient light color and brightness. The device then uses this information to adjust its display automatically. It can correct the white point based on your environmental lighting conditions to render the right kinds of white. According to Apple in simple terms, the True Tone technology in Mac computers, Studio Display, and Apple Pro Display XDR uses advanced multi-channel sensors to adjust the color and intensity of your display and touch bar to match the ambient light so that images appear more natural. Remember that the human optical system is constantly comparing near white to perfectly white, and that a better white can affect our perceived contrast of whatever we're looking at meaning an adjusted white point should be more comfortable on our eyes. It also means that the True Tone technology should make it easy to read in direct sunlight. There's another important element here for creative users as well, ensuring that the colors displayed remain consistent and accurate. So, everything looks natural and beautiful. How to set up True Tone of iPad Pro How to set up the True Tone of your iPad is very simple. When you purchase the iPad Pro, the True Tone is switched on by default, but you can leave it like that or disable it if you prefer. But if after disabling it and you want to enable it again, 
you go through the following short process. One, go to settings. Two, look for display and brightness and open it. Three, then you can now toggle true tone on or off. Easy, right? You can now turn your true tone on for a great experience from your iPad Pro. But when using a MacBook, one, choose the Apple menu in the top left corner. Two, go to system settings. Three, look for displays and click on it. Four, you can now toggle or untoggle true tone. Yeah, 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 yeah. iPad Pro versus MacBook Air M2. The iPad Pro and MacBook Air M2 share some similarities. Both come with powerful M2 chipsets, so you already know what to expect from the performance. They also come with true tone technology and the same memory capacities. Now to the differences. While the iPad Pro weighs 1.5 pounds, the MacBook Air weighs 2.7 pounds, which is understandable because the former is a tablet and the latter a complete laptop. Aside from that, the display of the MacBook Air 13.6 inches is much larger than the 12.9 inches of the iPad Pro. The cameras of both devices also set them apart. The 12 megapixels ultra-wide camera of the iPad Pro, which is capable of recording 4K videos, is a much better option than the 1080p HE camera of the MacBook Air. While the MacBook Air boasts 15 to 18 hours of battery life, the iPad Pro is battling with 9 to 10 hours. Battery life. The MacBook has a battery that's about 27% larger than the iPad. And with that, the iPad screen gets much brighter and it also supports ProMotion. Now, Apple's battery life figures are very vague, but if you're doing very light tasks with the iPad, you can get up to 10 hours compared to about 15 on the MacBook. But if you're pushing both machines, for example, photo editing, and you're raising up that brightness, people have said they get as low as four hours for the iPad compared to eight hours for the MacBook because a screen doesn't draw anywhere near as much power. So the battery life difference can be pretty massive. And with that, the MacBook charges twice as fast as the iPad if you're using a faster charger for both devices. So it's definitely a big win for the MacBook in terms of battery life. So with all of that, with the iPad Pro, you are limited to only two color options, silver and space gray, but the MacBook Air comes with four different color options. We have silver, starlight, space gray, and midnight. Another significant difference is the resolution and nit brightness. The iPad Pro has a higher resolution of 2732x2048 with a 120 Hz refresh rate and an SDR brightness of 600 nits max. 1000 nits max full screen for XDR brightness and 1600 nits peak for HDR content only while the MacBook Air has only 500 nits brightness to offer with 60 Hz refresh rate. The iPad Pro costs $799, which is relatively cheaper than the $1199 MacBook Air M2. Now that you have seen the differences and similarities, which would you choose? And what factors influenced your choice? Leave us a comment in the comment section below. Let's get interactive. If a friend needs this video to make the best choice, share it with them. Thank you for staying with us till the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, check out our next video on why people think the iPhone 14 mini is dead. Until next time, stay safe.